Hayakum everyone! Welcome back to Live at Expo. Today is episode 3, Island Nations. I'll be your host, Amani Stevens. You can also call me Amanikins. A little bit about me, I'm half Malaysian and half American. I grew up mainly in the Middle East. In fact, I've been in Dubai for the last 19 years. I absolutely love to travel. I've been to 59 countries, so I'm super excited to be at the Dubai Expo to check out all the different country pavilions. A little bit about this show and how it's going to go down. As you guys can all see, there is a chat box. Every time you post a comment and it gets featured, you will receive three points. Now, you want to collect as many points as possible for two reasons. The first reason is there will be a leaderboard. So if you want to see your name on the leaderboard, get those comments in. The second reason is every time you collect 100 points, you will receive a seed of change. At the very end of the episode, we will collectively decide where to plant those seeds of change. So not only will we be having fun, hanging out, exploring, you guys will also be making a real world impact. Okay, so today I am in the Mobility District. I'll go ahead and pop open the map. Okay, the map should be up. Yes, so there's the Mobility District, there's also Sustainability, and we also have Opportunity. In the heart of it all is Al Wasl Plaza. Al Wasl in Arabic means connections. Okay, so you guys have heard a little bit about me. I would love to hear from you guys where you guys are all tuning in from. Our first stop of the day, we will be going to Antigua and Barbuda. Then we will be going to Vanuatu. And lastly, we'll finish off in Barbados. We are visiting three different island nations. All of them are located in the Mobility District. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera around. We've just reached Antigua and Barbuda. So let's go ahead and head inside. Are you Basti? Yes, I yes, am. Yes, perfect. Amazing. Okay, so we are now live. I would love to hear all about Antigua and Barbuda. What yes. can you show me? So welcome to Antigua and Barbuda. We are located in the Caribbean. We're two islands, but one destination where the beach is just the beginning. So we have on the screen here some of our hot sauces and Ooh. our jams, all locally made, local products, and the best in the world. <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing. Tasty. And I'll just take you quickly through. Yes, please. Also, one thing I'd like to mention to the viewers, if you guys have any questions for Vash, please put them down in the comments. Yes. Okay, Go on. So, Antigua and Barbuda, we are going green, and we are actually in partnership with the UAE. We are greening Barbuda. So, in a few years, and well, Barbuda will be completely green in terms of energy. That's amazing. We've also banned plastics or single-use plastics so there's no more plastic water bottles no more straws and it goes on amazing initiative on. i yes, love that definitely we have to ensure that we are sustaining our destination for years to come cricket cricket is a big deal for us and we have on this side some of our legends sir vivian richards he will be here actually on november 1st which is our national day he is world renowned one of the best cricketers they are and we have coming up our younger generation here who also are making a name for themselves as well. Amazing. And let's go through. And sure. As I said, the beach is just the beginning, so we have a lot of marine activities as well. So you have the adventurous free diving and scuba diving as well. And we are into our kiteboarding and sailing, and our annual sailing week is around April, May of every year. This year we didn't have it, but we're ready to take you on next year. So ensure that you visit us, visit our visitantigabarbuda.com. That's our web page, visitantigabarbuda.com, and you'll get all the information. Okay, perfect. And we move on through. This is just a little bit of our Barbuda, which is the second island. And we have pink sand. Ooh. Pink sand, which is very different. It may look a little rough, but once it's settled on the okay. beach, you're very smooth. I'm just going to go ahead and get close sure. so the audience can see the pink sand. Pink sand, and that's on Barbuda. That's the second of the two islands. Okay. And we move on through and we begin our heritage tour. We are British and we gained independence November 1st, 1981. So that was 40 years ago. And we have some of our... Um, I guess heritage sites that still remain today and this is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's the Nelson mm. Stockyard. Okay. 
and we see some more of our heritage sites, our St. John's Anglican Cathedral, which is actually the main religion of the destination. And we have Betty's Hope and Devil's Bridge, and it continues. Then we move into oh, so we have a question from yes. Hover mm -hmm. Eli. Uh -huh. What's the best time of year to visit? Any time of year. Nice. Because we are tropical, so we have the same temperatures throughout the year, and we have lots of activities that you'd want to partake in at any time of the year. Nice. We have carnival. Now we get into the colorful side of things. Ooh, so we have love carnival, this. Carnival, and this is our typical carnival costume, and that happens around July, August um, of every year, and everybody dresses up, and these are actually handmade. Amazing. Costumes. I'm going to go ahead and take a sure, close up. No problem. You'll see the beading, you'll see the feathers, and all the cloth, all locally made, all handmade. Gorgeous. Yes. Okay. And we have the male version as well, if you want. To, <laughs> uh, but of course, the, the female is always prettier. So that's what we have on display. And we see here some of our national wear. This colorful material is actually called madras. Madras. Locally made. I'll go ahead and get in closer. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Ooh, okay. Jay Wordfish says the dress looks really cool. Yes, this is great. And this is the female version. Nice. And it's also made of madras? Yes. This is the material. This is the madras. And then this is a white cotton. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll round off the tour with just a, a look at our video. This is how we enjoy ourselves. This is how we have fun on the beach. And he's wearing madras. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is us. The beach is just the beginning. Very cool. Is he a local artist? Yes, he is. He's a local DJ and entertainer. Gaston Nation says the madras looks very uh, vibrant. Yes, it is. It is. And it's, uh, it's just typical of who we are. Vibrant and colorful and friendly people. Also, Gaston Nation wants to know, how is madras made? Oh, it's actually done by um, batik type of... Um, yeah, okay. So that's how it's, it's actually made. So. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you would like to show us? Um, just some local art. We actually are into our art as well. These were all locally painted by G. Gobinet. She is a local artist that is well known. And you can look from her work, very vibrant pieces and fantastic work. Nice. I'll go ahead and get a close-up of sure. that as well. Questions. Sure. Why is it called Antigua and Barbados? Barbuda. Barbuda. <laughs> Sorry. Why? Right. Yeah. So when we were discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492, um, those were the names or the Spanish names that we were given. And it, after we were taken over by the British, the names just evolved and it became Antigua and Barbuda. Okay, cool. Also, so I have a prompt question for mm -hmm. everyone, so don't answer this one. Mm -hmm. But yes, what is the capital of Antigua and Barbuda? Go ahead and get your answers in. You know it. Of course you know yes, it. Yeah. Okay. Don't tell them. Don't tell nope, them. Nope. Okay, let's see if anyone's guessing. Okay, we'll do a countdown and then we'll both say the answer okay. out loud together. All right, okay. No problem. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the answer is St. St. John's. John's. Nice, we were in sync. I, I like that. That was good. That was good. Was good. I hope they got it. Okay, guys. Nice. Is there anything else you would like to show me? Um, at this point, that's, well, that's what we have. This is Antigua and Barbuda. We just want to invite persons to come and visit the booth and also to visit the country. Yes, definitely, definitely. I have one more question. Mm -hmm. um, what's the national food? We have pepper pot and fungi. So pepper pot is actually a soup that's made from different vegetables, eggplant, spinach, all kinds of different things we throw in there. Salted meat, as well as chicken, and it's all boiled up together into this luscious, lovely meal. And then we have fungi that goes with it. That's the kind of starch that goes with it. It's made from cornmeal. Nice, nice. What's the national language? English. English, English okay. is our language. And then we have a dialect, which is a somewhat of a broken English. Okay, okay. So how, how would you like say like hello or like a regular greeting? Wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> okay, I like that. Yes. I like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and have a quick look around and then I'll head out. Thank All you right, so much. Thank you so much. Okay, guys.
Yes. Woo! So we've just got a badge. We've unlocked the Antigua and Barbuda badge. Well done. Every time you unlock a badge, you receive a hundred points. So everybody in the chat just received a hundred points. Okay, guys. So that was Antigua and Barbuda. Now let's go ahead and head out and head on over to Vanuatu. Yes. Okay, so I have a bit of a long walk, so let's go ahead and chat. There are 195 countries in the world, and 47 of them are island nations. One thing that I really need to mention about island nations is, we need to protect them because when it comes to climate change, they are always the first ones to feel the effects. Definitely something to think about. Okay, I love the scenery. Let me go ahead and give you guys a, a shot of that. Yes. So these things right here, it really reminds me of Singapore, like the gardens in Singapore. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Has anyone been to Singapore? Where is Vanuatu? Vanuatu is located in the Mobility District. It's much closer to the Mobility Pavilion. So we are just gonna go ahead and head on over there. Right? I agree with you, Gaston Nation. It's definitely super glittery and pretty. Okay, so we're just passing by Albania. The capital of Albania is Pristina. Okay. The weather is amazing tonight, by the way, guys. Ooh, look, Sudan. So the capital of Sudan is Khartoum. There are so many countries located in the mobility district. So now we're heading over to the other side, which is called the Sea Stage side. There's a little structure over there. Can you guys see that? Looks quite pretty. Right here we have the Jordan Pavilion. The capital of Jordan is Amman. Okay guys, let's go ahead and have a look at the leaderboard and see where everybody is currently at. Woo, there are a lot, wow. <laughs> so we have quite a few people tied right now. So tied for seventh to 10th place, we have Ro Ro Roboten, we have I am La La Lacer, we have, okay, I need to like, <laughs> I'm walking and trying to read. Okay, so we have F1Z Coraldo Zero and E Eh Rabs. We have uh, J Wordfish, Faisal Hamad. In fourth place, we have Caroline Estella. Third place, we have Where Are We Really? Second place, we have Jess Contour. And in the number one spot, the guy to beat or girl to beat is Woe Expo. Hi. Hi. Woo. Okay. So that is the leaderboard. Keep in mind, every 100 points, you get a seed of change. So keep spamming the comments. Okay. Let me go ahead and flip this around. Honestly, this view is just so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, there's a stage here. So I'm sure they have different uh, shows going on. Not right now though, maybe, maybe later on. And we found Vanuatu. Yes, different times of the day, they'll have shows on the stage. Okay, so we are walking up to Vanuatu. Our greeter today will be Terry. He is the acting commissioner for Vanuatu. Hi, Terry. Hey, hi there. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Oh, wonderful. All, uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, I'm sure uh, it's it has still, been. Still very exciting. No problem. Yeah. Go ahead, tell us all about Vanuatu. All Super about Vanuatu. exciting. Okay, well, Vanuatu, we, uh, uh, we've got 83 islands and uh, we cover a large uh, uh, sea mass, you know, a couple of hundred thousand uh, square kilometers. Wow. Uh, but uh, not so much land. Um, and it's a, a very culturally diverse uh, country. Um, unfortunately, uh, um, you know, I'm here as a business representative and uh, acting Commissioner General. Yes. Uh, because the rest of our delegation, unfortunately, uh, couldn't make it uh, until next weekend. No problem. There's also, only... one thing I want yeah. to mention to the viewers, yep. don't forget, if you have any questions that you want to ask Terry, do feel free to put them into the comments. <laughs> okay. So, 
anything you ever want to know about coffee, which is what Ooh, I do. Oh, coffee, um, yes. Yeah, I'm the person to ask. Amazing, but, uh, I'm a coffee addict. <laughs> okay, well, I'm a coffee grower. Amazing, so, uh, tell me more. Well, uh, Tanner Coffee, uh, we have uh, 1,000 smallholder farmers on Tanner Island. Oh, we have one question in from Gaston Nation. Which island does our greeter live on? <laughs> Tanner Island. Tanner Island. One of the southernmost uh, islands on, on Tanner, or in Benawatu. Um, we have a, uh, a, an ideal, uh, an idyllic climatic condition uh, for growing pure Arabica coffee. Uh, we've got uh, six metres of topsoil, two and a half metres of rainfall a year, and a mean average temperature of 18 degrees. No cooler than 10, no hotter than 28. Nice. We have 1,000 smallholder farmers um, who uh, have, uh, are empowered to maximise their opportunities for value addition. So uh, they uh, grow, process, um, um, and uh, or grow, harvest, and process all their coffee to dry parchment stage, and um, we provide them the skills, knowledge, uh, and equipment um, Very cool. to empower them to do mm. that. And then we pay three times world parity prices for uh, dry parchment, and then we do the processing, packaging, and uh, value addition nice. uh, and distribution. Are these some coffee bean bags? I'll yes, go ahead yes, and have these a look. Are, yeah, these are uh, sacks of our coffee. They're all hand painted. Amazing. Uh, ten of coffee. We have another question in from sure. Jess Cantor. Where do you export your coffee? Um, Eighty-five percent of all the coffee that's consumed in Vanuatu um, is Tanna coffee. Our other primary export is Fiji. We've uh, there's there's two major uh, cafe uh, um, lines in Fiji, uh, Bulacino and Grace Roads. And uh, the, so you know the best cup of coffee you can get in Fiji actually comes from Vanuatu. Amazing, <laughs> nice. But, I didn't know that. Well, there you go. <laughs> A lot of Fijians don't know it either. However. Um, we also export to Australia and New Zealand. Nice. Jay Wordfish wants to know, how do you take your coffee? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, if it's a good quality coffee and pure Arabica like we grow and organically grown, um, straight black. Me too, by the way. Me yeah, too. Yeah. Now, here's a tip. You know, Abraham Lincoln, when he was asked how he took his coffee, he said if it's good coffee, it, you drink it as it comes, straight black. But if it's not so good, you put a bit of sugar in it. But if it's terrible coffee, you put milk in as well. <laughs> so there you go. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> I've got, yeah, I've been doing this. I've been growing coffee for 35 years. 35 so, years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So that's half, a lot, half of my lifetime. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> prior to that, I was an engineer, but I retired. <laughs> oh, we have a question in from Jess Contour. She wants to know, are the coffee bags painted by local artists? Absolutely. Nice. Yes. Andrew Tavova. Mm -hmm. um, is our local artist, but the first coffee bags that uh, we did, uh, this is my design that I came up with you designed 25 these. years ago. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and get another close up. And they're all individually and signed. His, his signature is on the bottom of it. Nice. So his signature is just over there. Yeah. Very cool. So I did the original design and, uh, 24 years ago. And uh, the stencil that I built yeah. um, is still used uh, for these bags. Nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, show so, us more. Yeah, we, can, we can keep walking on. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> as you can see, um, yeah, uh, Vanuatu is culturally diverse. We have uh, over 145 different languages. That's amazing. Spread throughout the 83 islands. Um, and and uh, so, on Tanner alone, yeah. there is 26 individual languages just on Tanner Island. Wow. So, what are the top three languages? Well, uh, French, oh sorry, the top language um, is uh, English, I suppose, um, then French and, and Bishlama. Bishlama is the lingua franca. So that's the the uh, common language uh, yeah. for all of the indigenous uh, people of Vanuatu. How do you say hello? Uh, <laughs> do you know? God, how would I say hello? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, look at you. Look at you, nice. is a good thing, but uh, you could say, uh, you know, uh, tada, but look at you back again. Oh, that's how you respond. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, look at yeah, you look back, you back again. again. Yeah, so I'll see you, see you later, see you again. Okay, yeah. nice. Look Do you speak you. French? Parle français? No, not parle français. Uh, yeah, my partner, uh, she parle français. Uh, I don't uh, speak French, that's all I know. I can uh, say, je ne sais pas parler français, which means I don't speak it. That's yeah. about as good as, uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I speak Bishlama, but... Uh, 
Uh, my also Watashi wa and Pongash Kosi des. You know, I speak a little Japanese. I was about to say that's Japanese, yeah. <laughs> but that's another story. Uh, nice. This is my fifth World Expo. And uh, World、yes. Expo is very impressed with with、uh, 145 spoken languages. That、yeah. is insane. That's a very big number. Very but, cool. But as you can see, and you'll see here. That、um, uh, Tanner Island, where I'm from,、uh, we also have a, uh, the world's uh, most accessible active volcano. Wow! Our volcano goes off every ten、uh, uh, to fifteen minutes.、Um, wow! And you drive your car up to within 150 meters of the rim. So、mm. you just walk up a path and look in, and you look down about 300 meters, and you, boom, off it goes. And、nice. it's an amazing.、Uh, uh, it's an amazing attraction. Carolina Estella wants to know how many languages do you speak? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, basically uh, uh, English, although I speak Australian, but English,、uh, a little bit of Japanese,、um, and、uh, and Vishlama. Yes, so three. Nice,、yeah. nice,、yeah. multilingual. Nice. Multilingual.、Um, so we also do a, a lot of uh, uh, all all of the southern islands of Vanuatu are volcanic. So therefore, the people of the Southern Islands are、um, farmers. So they grow crops, root crops, vegetables, and and also cash crops. Whereas the Northern、um, Islands, the majority of them are coral islands. So those people are fishermen, and they they predominantly、uh, live in the ocean. Oh, not live in the ocean. <laughs> they live from the ocean. <laughs>、no. Yes, they're fishermen. Yes. I have a question in from、sure. Gaston Nation. He said, "Wow, his fifth expo. What's the best part about attending a World Expo?"、Uh, I suppose、uh, promoting、uh, Vanuatu and promoting the country.、Um, also,、uh, looking at the diversity of all the other countries and, and the excitement that、uh, and the effort that goes into all the other pavilions. We've been around, you know, and and so far, my partner is uh, um, Italian, <laughs> and uh, uh, she uh, uh, took me to Italy last night for dinner. That was lovely. <laughs> we've been to Australia. The、uh, Italian、lunch. pavilion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice. And、uh, you know, you, you get to see such a diversity. Yeah. And it's basically rather than travelling the world, the world comes to the to the one place. True. So as I said, this is my fifth one, and、um, yeah, I, I'm very happy and very proud to be uh, uh, promoting Vanuatu and its agricultural products. This is a、uh, a、Let's、replica <laughs> sure. of of the Nagol Tower. Now you've heard of、uh, bungee jumping. Oh. This is where bungee jumping started. Yeah. And you see、uh, pictures over here、um, of the Nagol Tower. I did hear of this. And it's on Pentecost Island. Yeah. And、uh, these towers are up to 30 meters tall. Yeah. And pe- the the boys in a custom ceremony just、yeah. to prove their manhood,、um, they will attach vines to their ankles. They attach them to the tower, and after a lot of ceremony, dive off. Yes. Head first. Yes.、Um, and, and drop 30 meters and. The vines just before they hit the ground, the vines、uh, straighten straighten out, and uh, um, they, it softens their landing. Yes. But they do still land very hard. I did hear of that, and the closer their hair is to touch the floor, <laughs> right? That, yeah,、oh, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're great show-offs. You know, great okay, show-offs. Okay, cool. Let's continue walking. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep moving through. I do see an amazing structure down at the back. Ah, that's the rom. That's our rom man. A rom man. Yes. So、uh, we've got a lot of people. Yeah. And, and there's quite quite diverse customary uh, customary um, people and customary things.、Um, this is a rom man, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's from Amber.、Um, I hope I've got that right. But what they do,、um, ceremonies play a major part. Yes.、Um, and it could be the the celebration of yams, yam festival things, and they'll adorn themselves in these sorts of outfits. And there's some other examples further over there, and they'll dance, and it could be for two or three days, and all the people from that entire island go in. They all meet up, and they all dance, and、uh, this this is made out of banana leaves. You know, wow! And、uh, and, and they、uh, adorn themselves, and this is you know flames and things, you know. So they they just dance around. That's it, very cool. It's quite cool. amazing. I'll go、uh, ahead and get a closer look. Sure. For the audience, have a look at that, guys. Could you imagine wearing that dancing for a couple of days? <laughs> so Jay Wordfish is asking, how does someone wear that? Well,、um, it, it, they are inside it. Okay. And、uh, other people to help them put them on, put it on. 
and in the top piece is uh, in there is a like a headband, so it fits over their ah. head. Yeah. So they'd be looking Ooh. through here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So they will have some vision. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you can see over here um, there are other um, uh, other dancers. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was saying over there, but uh, <laughs> there are yeah. other dances that go on, such as the toka um, on Tanner. Now the toka on Tanner. Um, it, it runs for three days. Okay. And uh, they dance for three days. Wow. Know, non-stop. Wow. People, you know, sort of collapse from exhaustion, but uh, it's an amazing thing and an amazing event to see. It happens not every year, but, you know, it used to happen every year. And it's, it's a way that uh, different villages will gather and meet, and it's for people to uh, meet their new wives. Okay, uh, okay. And uh, it's, it, it, it moves around the, the island uh, once a year, different places. But the sight of three or four thousand people all dancing together okay. all night, yeah, so is we, a great thing. We now have a question for the audience. Don't okay. say the answer out loud. Okay. But our question is, what is the capital of Vanuatu? Can you guys guess the capital of Vanuatu? Don't say the answer. Nope. Don't say the answer. Let's give them a little bit of time. Let them think. Don't Google. Don't cheat. Okay? <laughs> be honest. Be honest. Go ahead. Write down the answer. Okay. So we'll say the answer at the same time. Let's okay. count it down from five. Five. Four, three, two, one. Port, Port Villa. Villa. Well done, guys. I hope you guys get. Ooh, Jess Contour. She got it. It is Port Villa. Well done. Well done. So every time they comment, they receive points. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Okay. So. I'll need to head out. You've been That's lovely okay. and amazing. Thank you so much for all of the information. Welcome and, uh, back anytime. Yes, yes, and, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of things we can talk about. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, okay, guys. Yeah. You. Would you have, have some chocolate? Aw, thank you so much. Sure. I'll grab a piece of chocolate. Yeah, yeah. We're not that far. Okay, here. <laughs> I just opened that one. I'll get some new ones. I'll get you a fresh one. But oh, no worries. Thank you. Thank you so that. much. Okay. It's my favorite, the dark chocolate. It's great. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. All right. Okay, guys. Let's go on and head on out. We are going to our third location. Um, hmm. Yes. We'll head on out. I'm looking for some projections on the floor, but I don't think they're turned on today. But that's fine. We can come back uh, another day and see them. Okay. Also, guys, by the way, a season of Survivors was actually filmed in Vanuatu. Fun fact! Uh, since I have a piece of chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and eat it just before I reach my next destination. So, yes, chocolate from Vanuatu. Ooh, I love it. It's like a very dark chocolate. My favorite, my favorite. Guys, we have another country badge! Woo! We have unlocked... <coughs> <laughs> Chocolate. Okay, we have unlocked the Vanuatu country badge. Well done, you guys all received 100 points and I didn't die, so let's go on. So now I'm going to go to Barbados. We are on the hunt for Barbados. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm looking at. We have Croatia just over here. The capital of Croatia is Zagreb. Let's go ahead and head on down this way. So we are in the thematic district of mobility. That's why you can see a lot of countries. We've got Paraguay over there. The capital of Paraguay is Ascension. Still the Croatian pavilion just over here. And rounding the corner, we have found Barbados. Woo! Okay, another leaderboard is up. So I'm just going to read the names from the bottom to the top. We have, I am Alistair Ihrabs Rana Ismail. I am <laughs> ah, said no name. And we have uh, Faisal Kham. Where are we really? Okay, and then we have Jay Wordfish, Carolina Estrell, Woe Expo, and in number one place is Jess Contour. She has stolen the lead from Woe Expo. But do not worry, there's still more time to rack up some points, so go ahead and get those comments in. Okay, we are in our third location. We've reached Barbados. Let's go on and head inside. Hello. 
How are you guys doing today? Very good. Hi, I'm looking for Terry. Are you Terry? Terry, I don't have Sorry, a Antonio. Time. I'm looking for Antonio. I just might know Antonio. Where he is. He's yes. Over here. Hey. Hi, perfect. <laughs> Lovely to meet Welcome you. Welcome to Barbados. Super excited. Mm hmm. Okay, so um, during this uh, part, we are also going to do a treasure hunt. So you are going to help me and the audience look yes. for four items. We need to find four some stamps. Items. We need to find a electric bus. Mm -hmm. We need to find a cricket bat. And lastly, a very famous singer. We won't say her name yet, so we'll bring that up in a bit. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. So go ahead, tell me about uh, Barbados and let's also do the treasure hunt. Okay. Well, what I would want to do is just take you to have a quick glimpse at Barbados. Sure. Over here, just put on your seatbelt. I don't want you to fall out now. We're taking a flight over Barbados. Woo! Beautiful white sand beaches, lush green pastures. Of course, we are an island, 166 square miles. Our underwater life is vibrant. You, we have a coral reef, an active coral reef, a very beautiful coral reef. So you might want to take a, a look there. To, to our left, we have Alan Entich. This is one of our icons. He actually developed the first search engine in the world. <gasps> Do you believe it? Wow. Alan Entich, it was called Archie. Archie! The first search engine in the world, and that was in 1990. 1990, ooh. When you visit our booth, you can scan any of the posters. You can scan any of the posters, the QR codes, and it, they will take you to different links. Right here is my favorite because I'm a foodie. Our national dish, cuckoo and flying fish. You scan that QR code and it takes you to the recipe. The only thing I ask is that you bring some of that food for me. We developed the first solar water heater. Here in Barbados, we have 300, um, the sun 365 days a year. So, you know, once you have the sun 365 days a year, it would make sense for us to fully utilize it. Over here, I was talking about first. First people to present the welcome stamp. Um, you know, with COVID, a number of people started working remotely, so we just suggested that um, the government came up with a beautiful idea. Why not allow people to come and work in Barbados for a year, give them a one-year visa uh, so that they can work, maybe like my friend here, by the beach. Ooh. So they can come on to Barbados. And I'm intrigued. Enjoy the welcome stamp. I told you about our beautiful coral reefs. Yes. Very active. You can, if you like snorkeling, you like diving, you might even be able to find Nemo. Oh, we have a <laughs> comment from... Uh, Caroline Estrella, she says, wow, Archie was around before the internet. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Pioneers. Oui. So we, um, our government has a vision of becoming a carbon neutral island state by 2030. The main areas of focus, photovoltaic, wind energy, and biomass, even wave energy. I mean, we are an island, we have waves all around, so it would make sense, right? And the <coughs> government is actually taking lead even as seen in our fleet of publicly owned vehicles or buses, the electric bus. Oh, the electric bus. Yes. I think we found our first treasure hunt <laughs> item. <laughs> <laughs> we have a funny comment from where are we really? He says he's moving to Barbados. It must be because of the one year visa. No, well, I will give you even more incentive to come to Barbados. I was talking about yes, please. first. So our first economic driver, the sugar cane first thing that moved the economy of Barbados in the 1600s, the sugarcane industry. And if I tell you about sugarcane, you know one of the most famous byproducts of sugarcane is? Sugar? Rum. 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 rum! Barbados is known as the island of rum. The rum that invented rum. Mount Gay, the oldest rum distillery in the world, 1703. So if you want to know about any rum experts, you want to know anything about rum, Barbados is the place to come. You okay. No, you ask where is Barbados? So we have South America, North America, we have the Caribbean over here. This is the island chain, and this is Barbados, the most easterly island in the Caribbean. And let me point out Barbados is the only island in the Caribbean not born out of volcanic activity. For movements of the place, we had upper thrust over hundreds of thousands of years, and Barbados was formed. We are over 80% coral limestone, so as a result, we have one of the purest water supplies in the world. Nice. All right, just taking a run around here. I know this is really feeling like a treasure hunt now, the Charter of Barbados. Charter of Washington. Barbados. You have a peek at what our notes look like. We've gone crypt crypto, and actually one of the developers of our cryptocurrency, one of the pioneers of crypto, he is now the ambassador of Barbados to the UAE, uh, Ambassador Gabriel Abed. So this is the direction that Barbados is going. 
right over here. I don't, I'm not sure if you will find some more. Ooh, Caroline found the cricket bat. She must have seen it in the background. I think so. Yeah, we'll come Our back to it. Our first female yes. Prime Minister, Mia Amor Motley. She came to office in 2018, and she is currently our Prime Minister. You need to do some research about her. She's a magnificent lady. I can't capture enough in just this short space of time, so please read up on her, um, our Prime Minister, Mia Amor Motley. Some yeah. of these images here give you an idea of the color of our people in terms of our personalities, in terms of how we live, in terms of our vibrant spirit. So you just need to, um, I almost said Archie, Archie <laughs> Barbados, but maybe you can Google Barbados. I did a bit of promotion there for Google. Cricket, one of our famous sports. This is um, Argy, Argy, Well, Argy Expo Argy. says female PM, nice. Ebo PM, <laughs> and that is, that's so true. I mean, it's a good way to start, right? With a female prime minister and she's doing great things, even with our battle against COVID, she has done an excellent job, uh, even in terms of the focus on sustainability and renewable energy. She's doing an excellent job, and we have to fully salute her. Yes. Um, this guy Kelly, here, Sir Garfield Sober, is one of our um, national heroes. He's a living national hero, the greatest cricketer the world has ever seen. He has been an all-rounder. He would bat and bowl, so you can um, maybe get to meet him in Barbados when you come. Yes. I whisk you through. I told you about our beautiful white sand beaches our vibrant um, coral reefs, our crystal clear waters. Once you come to Barbados, oysters, you have to come to oysters. We are only 166 square miles. It means that all of the fish in Barbados that you eat, it's fresh. Mm. So we do a fish fry here every Friday night. So that is a must do once you come to Barbados. Yum. Another must do is Harson's Cave. Harson's Cave, the eighth one of the world. We take you by tram through this cave. Yes, you are driving through the cave. All of these formations are formed based on drips of water, drops of water over hundreds of thousands of years, beautiful stalagmites, stalactites, this is also a must do. No poster can do justice to showing you Harson's Cave or giving you that full experience. You have to be there. Nice. All right, the chattel house, these structures, these structures over here, the chattel house, they're called chattel houses, first found on the sugarcane plantations, and these were the quarters for slaves. The beautiful feature about these channel houses, they are all collapsible, so slaves were able to move house either on a different part of the plantation or a different plantation altogether. This box right here, a favorite of mine. Um, Ooh. Yes, a favorite of mine. This is a sport indigenous to Barbados. I don't know what you will call it, but get this. In the 1930s, Barbadians could not afford to play lawn tennis because it was too expensive, so they used their creativity. They made rackets from wood. They made, um, they made nets from wood as well. They took the lawn tennis ball and took the skin off it. We call it skinning the ball or removing the felt from the ball to make it more bouncy. And, and they painted a court in the middle of the road, and we call it road tennis. Right here at Expo 2020, the 11th to the 17th yeah. of December, we are having Road Tennis Week, where we're flying in the top road tennis players from the world to do coaching clinics, to do exhibition matches, and then we're finishing with a road tennis tournament. And the winner of that tournament gets what? An all expense one week vacation in Barbados. Amazing, I wanna win that. By the yeah. way, road tennis is another one of our treasure hunt items. So woo, ding, 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 we've ding, gotten ding, through ding. three, we have two more. This man here we call Ronald Suki King. He's the World Go As You Please champion in draft. He's in the, featured in the Guinness Book of World Records. Draft is another one of the sports that we play, one of the board games that we play in Barbados. Worry, this one at the bottom, we would have um, inherited that from Africa. This monkey here, we have the green monkey. This is the species most popular in Barbados. And right next to it, we have another vessel, but it's called a <laughs> monkey. It's also called a monkey, and these were used before we had refrigerators just to keep water cool. Carolina, Stella says that she's going to get a year visa. She is ready. <laughs> yeah. Well, you better get that. Maybe you could join me and my friend over here. Do, we're, do, just, do. we're just hanging out in this yes. corner. Yes. Hi, Rihanna. Big fan. Let's get a selfie with her. Come. Selfie. Perfect. <laughs> Over here, we have an aging population. Rihanna is another one of our treasure hunt items. So, woo, we have four out of five. We have Man. one last one, which Man. is the stamp collection. Back here, we have some spicy foods where, you see, our food in Barbados is much like our people. Spicy and exciting. So, we have to come. <laughs> That's a lovely way to describe people. We have an aging population. Once you become 100 years old, you get 
your face on a national stamp. So wow. in five years from now, I will have my face on one of these stamps. Amazing. Yeah, and that's our food. final item for the <laughs> treasure hunt, the stamps. Woo, guys, we did it. We have all of it. Oh, Rana is miles called. She said, Wee <laughs> Wee. <laughs> well, is she your homegirl? Have you met Rihanna? Yes, of course. I mean, Barbados is small and Rihanna is so humble. You know, she's so cool. She would be at the beach. She would go across to one of our favorite fast food outlets, Chefet, you know, and just grab some food. And she's just cool and, and cool with people that she grew up with, too. too nice. you know? um, and that is what makes her special. You know, sometimes people forget the origins, but she's one of the people true and always repping the 246, always repping Barbados. That's our area code, by the way, 246. 246. Yep, 246. So remember that. Okay, we'll do. 246. By the way, I noticed you have some hot sauce. Yes, hot sauce. I said yes. our food is like our people. Can we try so some? You can try some. You want to try some right now? Oh, let's do it. Let's do can it. Can you handle it? I don't know. I, I almost died earlier okay. eating can some you? chocolate, but let's do some hot sauce, guys. Okay. Are you ready for this? Okay, tuck. Okay, so type M in the chat for me to try the hot sauce. So I'll only try the hot sauce if you guys press M. We so spam the M. We, want a lot of we need the gold meter to hit the top, and then I'll try the hot sauce. Oh my gosh, what are you guys making me do today? Woo! Okay. Give her a full cap. Type the M. Full cap? M. No, I'll just, I'll just dip M. my pinky. M. No, no, just my no. pinky. <laughs> type M M if you want her to drink the full cap. I won't be able to talk for the rest of this episode. Woo! Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Don't make me do it. Don't the make me do it. Coming. I mean, I will do it probably. Don't be. The M's are coming. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. The oh no. M's oh no. Are coming. Y'all are. Y'all are. You know? You know? Okay. Um, we have no I got to do it. I got to do it. You have we some have water? No water? We have no water. You have no water. Water makes it worse. <laughs> Probably. Is water it really hot? I'll just yeah. dip my pinky and lick no, it. No, How about no, that? No, the whole thing? Away. Yeah, it's like juice. Mm, mm. I'll just dip my finger in. Oh. Okay, that's that's a good dollop. Okay, here we go. Actually, that's nice. It's more about flavor. That's really nice. Then it is hot heat. though. I it's feel like the, the aftertaste is the, where the heat kicks in. It's all about the flavor. Phew. See, water makes it worse. Water makes it worse. You know what's worse. going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You try some now. Can you do the whole, ooh, oh wow, there we go, there we go. Showing me how it's mm. done. Yup, yup. <laughs> oh, Azak wanted the whole spicy. thing. Oh, Kringly, this is the best <laughs> part of the whole episode. <laughs> what, you want some of the hot sauce too? Yes, give them some of the hot sauce. <laughs> or come down to Barbados and grab some hot sauce. Definitely, we're in the mobility district, the Barbados Pavilion, this is where you need to come. We will give you, oh, I forgot to tell you. Yes, tell us. Now, everyone coming to the Barbados Pavilion, you get to enter a sweepstake. We'll have a QR code for you. You scan it, you're sent to a registration page. Once you register, you are automatically entered into the sweepstake. And at the end of the show, at the end of Expo, you can be the lucky winner of one week's all expense paid um, vacation in Barbados. And guess what? You'll be staying at the luxurious Crane Resort. And right here, this is the beach of Crane Resort. Amazing. So we have a question that we're going to ask the audience. Do mm -hmm. not say the answer. Mm -mm. The question is, what is the capital of Barbados? Don't say the answer. Let's give them a second to think, think about it. Mm -hmm. you, you, you. No hints, no hints, no, no hints. The, also, no cheating, no Googling, no hints, no hints. The capital of Barbados is B. You spell it with a capital uh, B. B-A-R-B-A-D-O-S. Uh, yeah. I like that. I like that. No, no, the capital city. I got you. So we'll give them a <laughs> I'm just clarifying for the audience, just in case. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and count down from five to one, and yep. we'll both say the answer together. Ready? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Bridgetown! Bridgetown! Oh, I, Bianca got it. Woo, well done, well done. She's Amazing. A Good job. I guess Good job. Archie's working. She, 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 she archied it. Oh, she archied it? Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe. I hope you didn't. I hope you didn't. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to show at me? Well, that about sums it up. That about sums it up. Um, we, we have QR codes that people can scan. All of our posters have QR codes. You come down to our Barbados Pavilion, you, you scan the QR codes, and you get even more information. Okay, so, very cool. We're looking forward to hosting you here and giving you the royal tour. Nice, nice. Thank you so much, Antonio. It was a you pleasure. You have been amazing. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so very much for coming. See you in Barbados. See you. Bye. Guys, that was so much fun. Okay, so I'm just exiting the Barbados Pavilion, and you know what that means? 
we've unlocked another country badge. Woo! So we have 100 points for everyone. Well done, well done. Okay, so my last spot that I'm going to go to now is the Mobility Pavilion. Every district has their own pavilion. So we're going to head over to the Mobility one and it's called Alif. Alif is the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. I'll go ahead and put on my mask since I'm walking outside. Oh, by the way, actually, I spotted something. It's really pretty. You guys want to see? Tell me in the comments if you want to see what I'm looking at. Okay, here we go. Do -do -do -do. It's a carousel. I don't think it's open just yet, but let's go have a look. Okay. Okay, it's not open, but it's just over there. It looks super pretty. Definitely wanted to show that to you guys. Okay. So now I'm going to make my way over to the Mobility Pavilion. Just looking around. We have, let me show you guys what I'm looking at. So at Drift is over here. They have food and beverages. We're passing by the Jordan Pavilion again. And the capital of Jordan is Amman. Okay. So guys, we are going to do a poll. The poll question is, what was your favorite thing we saw today? Use hashtag A for the answers. Hashtag A, hashtag B, hashtag C, hashtag D. So hashtag A is painted coffee bags at Vanuatu. Hashtag B, surfboards at Cabo Verde. Ooh, we did not go to Cabo Verde, so that was definitely not the answer. Hashtag C, for hot sauce at Antigua and Barbuda. Or hashtag D, meeting Rihanna in Barbados. What was your favorite thing today? Let me know, let me know, the poll is going. Ooh, I think people like the hot sauce. Okay. Yeah, hot sauce is winning it, hot sauce is winning it. I was so worried I was gonna have another like coughing fit, but all good, all good. And the poll is closed and the winner is hot sauce at Antigua and Barbuda. Okay. So remember how we passed by the stage earlier and it was empty? We have a show right now, so let's go ahead and check it out. their resilience. Go ahead and fill, like go ahead and write it down in the comments. Honestly, we can learn a lot. They are such happy people. Sun is shining, you know, life is good. They have beautiful beaches. They have amazing food. Okay, so let's go ahead and pan around. I am almost at the end of the, mo of the mobility pavilion. 
Okay, over here is the Libya Pavilion. The Libya Pavilion. The capital of Libya is Tripoli. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get right up close to the Mobility Pavilion. Okay, so the Mobility Pavilion, with its space-age contours and awe-inspiring exhibits, Aleph, the Mobility Pavilion offers the visitors an immersive journey through the spectrum of human movement and progress. I heard an amazing story that when you go inside, you meet a girl and she has a butterfly, and then you go through this journey and it's just, it's incredible. So we're not gonna check it out just today, but definitely in a future episode. Do you stay tuned because we will be covering it. Isn't it gorgeous? They have some horses just down here, a baby pony, white one, and a dark black stallion. Ooh, and I have a nice breeze. Okay guys, we are going to check the leaderboard for the last time. Okay, so the top five. In fifth place we have Where Are We Really? Fourth place we have Rana Ismail. In third place we have Whoa Expo. In second place we have Jess Cantor. And in first place, the one that wins it today in all the bragging rights of episode three is Carolina Stella. Woo, well done with 363 points. Well done, well done. Good job. Okay, and with that, I believe we are going to go into the Seeds of Change. Now we've racked up all the points, and like I said, so every time you racked up 100 points, you receive a Seed of Change, and now we will decide where to plant those Seeds of Change. Basically, Expo has pledged a certain amount of budget to go towards different projects and different initiatives. So now, collectively, we will decide where to distribute those seeds. So our categories are, Hashtag one for clean energy, hashtag two for using less, hashtag three for green cities, hashtag four for healthy planet, hashtag five for eating well, hashtag six for living together, hashtag seven for happy people, and hashtag eight for cleaner water. I'm happy that I'm not making this decision and you guys are, because all of these are amazing, amazing uh, initiatives. We've collectively today in this episode won 79 seeds of change wow that's amazing guys well done well done Just keep voting keep voting guys we still have time so don't worry but don't take too long hey because we do need to we do need to get those votes in Okay, it looks like cleaner water and happy people are currently leading with 21 points each. But honestly, like I said before, there are no wrong answers. Oh, the poll is complete and we have a tie. So happy people and cleaner water are tied. Amazing, very cool, nice job guys. Okay, so that's it for me. My time is now up. Make sure to tune in two days from now on the 7th of October for episode four, which is called, which is called, give me two seconds. Yes, it's called Our Living World. And my colleague, Danielle, she will be hosting. So make sure to tune in two days from now. Okay, guys, I had so much fun. I learned a lot. I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed the journey too. Um, I'll see you guys in a future, future episode. So until then, bye-bye.